Let's stop messing around and start being progressive about this, shall we? It's time for reaction. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. It is Monday and last week was a little crazy. So I thought we would, well, start this week off the way we left off the last one. Kind of crazy. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. And yes, there's a new reaction coming in to Patreon today for what you guys have been watching us react to for the last month. So more is coming. We're going to go right up Shit's Creek. Okay, um, and the merchandise store. Okay, so uh, you guys know that I love progressive metal. The more technically proficient, the better. This started going back all the way when I was a kid, and I got addicted to Rush. Just like a lot of us, people that my age, um, we got turned on to Rush, and they've always been the greatest of all time. Um, but bands nowadays are going even beyond that level. Uh, that Russia aspired and achieved uh, with La Villa Strangiato, 2112, Hemispheres, you name it, they've done it. Well, bands today are saying, you know what, we've been inspired, we're going to go beyond it. Now, I've reacted to a lot of progressive metal, a lot of uh, intricate uh, layered metal, technical metal, uh, and I love it. Uh, Fractal Universe, uh, t Torrential Rain, um, uh, Orbit Culture. Even Gojira kind of pushes that level sometimes, but um, I got called out. Um, some of these artists I talked to, um, and they all say the same thing. Um, have you ever heard of this band? And I was like, what band? And they were like, Animals as Leaders. And I was like, I don't know who that is. Of course I don't know who that is, remember? I've been out of metal for 20 years. So they were like, whoa. They're kind of the band that made us who we are now. And I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, okay. So back in 2008, 9, and 10, there was a band um, that had popped up, uh, and they were called Animals as Leaders. And there were three, three guys, uh, a drummer and two guitarists. And um, they were led, uh, and uh, they're uh, instrumental, extremely technical, progressive metal. And they kind of started not necessarily started but they kind of led the way animals as leaders uh, of the whole jit movement now some people say degent please don't do that uh, it's the same as a djembe uh, the d is silent uh, the jit movement which is where it's very highly technical um, playing where you use the palm to deaden around the bottom of the fret and it's a lot of tapping and moving and very technical playing some people will play uh, gent style up to you've, you've seen the videos where the guy has like the 20 string guitar just, just so he can. Um, I, I, doesn't look like there's a bass player in the band because I, I kind of looked it up to see. Um, but apparently um, the lead guitarist leader of the band also, and the other guitarist, because they're playing eight string guitars, they have a tendency to play a lot of the bass on that bottom, the lower strings on that eight string. And he says that he also, for the album, the, the bass was actually him playing it on a clean guitar and just putting it into a, uh, a mixer or, a, um, or in the mix, dropping it an octave. So what you're saying is your bass player is you, but extremely fast and technical. I'm down. I'm, I'm completely down. Um, so... There's not going to be any lyrical breakdown on this because I don't think there are lyrics on this. Um, but this is the official video uh, from back in 2010. Understand, this was 11 years ago. 11 years ago. Everything you've seen in the last eight years, this band's done it 11 years ago. Everything you're about to see is back before all the bands you're loving right now even started playing music. Mo most of them. Okay? So, Animals as Leaders. 
The song is CAFO. My name is Old School Nerd. And I'm starting off my Monday literally technically blowing my brains out. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, not because he's black, okay? Not because he's African-American, okay? But the fact his playing style just right now, it doesn't remind you of Living Color a little bit? That, that extremely, f it's just so freaking fast. 20 seconds in, and I'm like, I don't know how this is gonna end. I'm in this mode where I'm trying to track where the hell it's all coming from. You need to go and check this video. If you've never heard this video, put earbuds in or a set of cans where you can hear both sides to where it's not just in your face on computer sound. Like really put it in there and get a good balance of this and realize that I'm hearing, I'm hearing this guitar tapping, but at the same time I'm hearing this bass tapping and I'm, and I'm hearing this elaborate setup. And then of course the drummer's going nuts too. And, and I'm, you can easily feel like you're being overwhelmed. Easily feel like you're being overwhelmed. Also, I'm stopping this because um, this video has over 2 million views and it's from 2010, which means I know for a fact this sucker is copyright covered <laughs> by vultures. I can promise you that right now. Whoo, wow. All right, one minute, 30 seconds into a six minute video. You didn't take your seatbelt off, did you? Put it back on, we're about to hit some turbulence. so young
Okay, now you can hear the bass in the background. There is no bass player in this band. There's not. Okay, and I when I when I when he said, "Dude, you got to check out Animal Leader." I went I went to the band page to see because he said they're like ten years old. I'm like, how do I not know of him? So I pulled him up. I pulled up their 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 page, and they don't have a they don't have a bass player. So the lead guitarist, okay. He actually is playing this bass you're hearing, but he's not playing a bass guitar. He's actually playing his eight string separately in the studio, and then they drop it an octave. So you, he, but he plays it without distortion or anything. So you hear that clean sound, and when you drop it an octave, it sounds it's a it's a bass. And so the layer of bass that you're hearing is because he's playing it on his guitar, which you know, obviously, is going to be exponentially higher than what you would expect. So for the rest of this, when you're hearing the bass guitar, understand it is the lead guitarist playing the bass. I don't know how they do this in live shows if the bass is on a track. And if it is, that's fine. A lot of bands use tracks for bass. Uh, Skillet uses a track for bass almost every song because John can't be trusted to remember to play, even when he's holding his bass. Um, and that's between him and Chris. So anyway, um, the uh, <laughs> doesn't matter. Okay, so but I, I do want to see a live video of a performance of one of their songs to hear if it's a track or if they just play some of the lower parts on the guitars to get that bass feel. I don't know. This is the first time I've ever heard them. They're blowing me away a little bit. Um, I'm a bass guitar drum guy, so when the bass kicks in in this part, I can really hear it. And you can hear that pluck pull, that, that claw hammer style that so many bass players use. But if he's using a pick because he's playing his guitar, holy crap. Let's continue. I'm sorry. almost thought and I almost said it before they just started this like I wonder how good they are if they did kind of a folksy acoustic set there you go right here got one right here in my pocket here you go yep totally missed the groove on this one 11 years ago totally missed it Two thousand ten. Apparently, two amazing things happened: <laughs> Caroline and this this band. <laughs> you notice I said Caroline first, right? Feels like some Joe Satriani right there.
I mean, I'm assuming everyone kind of focuses on the lead guitarist, the, the, the person who founded the band and everything. But please do not discount the other guitarist. Holy cow. If you're listening to it with a critical ear, they are both equally amazing. Are their styles different? A little, just a little bit, but they can both bring it. And here's the best part. If this was a live video and I could see them both standing side by side, you could actually tell which one of them is playing the amazing thing you're hearing at that point. But it sounds like they transition back and forth effortlessly. And the transitions from one groove to the next, flawless. 2010, 11 years ago, there are bands right now that are like, man, I wish we could play it like they played back in 2010. <laughs> wow. And they look so young. Are they still together? Are they still blowing people out? I'm assuming they're still together. Gonna have to check this one out live too. You know that, right? It's gonna happen. Fade out. I guess I kind of thought they they would do something more than a fade out, but then maybe maybe they're doing a fade out because they're they're gonna continue to play for the next you know couple hours, and they're like, no, you guys can go. We're, we'll just we'll just be here, you know, playing Masters of the Guitar Universe. Wow. Animals as leaders. Boy, I've said things that, you know, there are some bands in the last, you know, 20 years in metal that I really missed out on. One of the ones that I really regret more than anything, and I tell people all the time, you know, is Kill Switch Engage. I, I, I miss the Howard Jones years, and um, one of my favorite songs to this day is The End of Heartache. Um, and I only found out about it eight months ago. So how stupid do you think I feel? But then now I realize that this band was doing this level of musicianship and progressive metal 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Man, that's strike two, bro. <laughs> that's not even a foul tip, that's strike. That's a swing and a miss. Oh, I am so glad that I have so many of all of you out there, all 47,300 and something of you, that have been showing me all of this amazing music that I've missed out on. Some of you guys say thank you for the reactions. No, thank all of you for showing me all this stuff. It's just, I'm gonna go find a live version of this just cause I wanna see how nuts it is live. So, excuse me out. Go do what you were doing. Bye. <laughs>